Good afternoon, everybody. It's NCP. It's been about three weeks since my last video, <clears throat> and I'm trying to keep the channel active. I've been studying Morse code on a keyer, not, you know, transmitting on the air. But I got a bunch of kits in uh, yesterday and today and next week for projects, um, uh, like a VNCA or... or, or, or so... A vector network analyzer. Um, it was one of the cheaper ones for fifty dollars, but it does a lot instead of like a rig expert or rig probe or one of the really really expensive ones. Especially since I'm just doing antenna. Now, as you can see on the ground there in front of the barbecue, that's a LMR four hundred coax with a with um uh, what do you call that? I don't know poly line around it, poly rope, plastic rope. Um, I'm gonna hang the antenna up today and get the G5 RV up in the trees, but I was kind of running along the fence out there, you know, and I'm thinking I might have been coupling to the fence because what, what, What's the math on that? I'm not sure one eighth of a wave or a point eight of a wave difference So it doesn't interfere or couple I you know connect like a like a two element beam i guess one one emitter and one reflector you know if you're not high enough up you know you only get about 400 miles range because you're near earth vertical and descent whatever wave um i can't think today i just can't think but i'm gonna get this stuff up and we're gonna get on the air we're gonna start doing stuff um i ordered a uh micro uh or UBTIX, I think it's a QRP, which means low power. I think it's five watts. Uh, all band transceiver, and um, they're pretty neat. It's a kit. I think I think the board's all done, but I'm not sure if not. I'm about to wind some torrents, which I just loathe. But uh, <clears throat> I think it's done. It's a hobby kit with a radio Dorino, which is basically an Adreno. Uh, I think nano, maybe I'm not sure. Um, that has an additional board on it for RF. So, uh, I bought the whole kit. It was like two hundred nine dollars shipped from um, I don't know. I think I think India, Delphi. I think I'll put a link to it um, when I do when I get the kit in. I'll put a link to it below. It was a HF or I think it's HFSignals.com, but I don't know. Just just look for the UBTIX transceiver. It's pretty neat and it's so many upgrades it's like a it's like a barbie doll for ham radio you know so you just upgrade all your stuff this, this is this intrigued me so i went ahead and did that and uh like i said i'm gonna get the antenna up today ideally i'll be up on i'll be online tonight but yeah i doubt it but i still gotta clean my ham desk off it's, it's turned into a place where you just collect things junk mail and i'll put this away later type stuff so it's just Devastated. Um, at that, let's see what else. Um, yeah, when I had free time, I've just been messing around with the mini bike. As you tell by the yard, I haven't done any yard work. There's so much that needs to be done. All the a lot of the leaves on the other side are dead, and uh, it's a really good time to clear out brush. But I don't want to. I'm lazy. I guess. I guess you call it laziness. So. I just want to mess around and get my ham radio up right now. Um, that's my goal for today. Just get that cable strung across the trees. And, um, you know, I wrapped the cord around it this time instead of let it have to zip tie everything together, which there's still zip ties on the side over here, but I don't care. But we'll see. I'll get that thing hung up today. And um, be happy, 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 happy fun times, I guess. But I hope everybody's doing well. I hope they're safe. Uh, the shutdowns are starting to lift, but they might go back down. Who knows? Or lockdowns might come back. I don't know. Uh, North Carolina is kind of open. I don't really go anywhere anyway, so I'm not really sure what's open and what isn't. I think schools are starting to open back up. But anyway, I hope everybody's doing well. And uh, I'm going to try to get a video out every two days. Maybe more. Used to, yeah, I used to do like one or two a day back in the very beginning, but I've covered a lot of subjects, so there's a lot of videos. Um, I haven't been answering the questions lately, and I'm sorry for that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. Hey, I'm a lot, don't I? 
I guess it's better than just having a pause like that or talking real slow. Yes, slow is bad. <laughs> anyway, I wish everybody a great, great day. I hope everybody has a nice, safe holiday or Valentine's Day, which is, you know, I know the origins of it, but I hope everybody's great and just good, good times. And I hope you're pursuing your dreams. <sighs> this year, it's got to be better than last year. Um, I'd like to go rent a motorhome this year. You know, depending on work, of course. But rent a motorhome or maybe buy a cheap cargo van and convert it to like a camping thing. Now, I have camped in my truck. Um, I had power in there and lights and all that. But there was a moisture issue for my breath. If it was cold out, you know, I ran any kind of heat, not propane, but any kind of heat or anything, you'd condensation be all over everything. I'd wake up soggy. Sheets would be wet and everything else, so. Or blankets or sleeping bag would be wet. I didn't really care for that. <clears throat> and it really wasn't terribly comfortable. Um, plus, I had to store everything with me inside there. So, I think I want to get a, not a motorhome, but like a camper. Or rent one. And do some traveling. There's a lot of places in the United States I'd like to sightsee. I've never been to. I like to go see them all. You know, there's a cave in Arizona that has a rare fish in it, which I guess only just there. I think it's Arizona. I mean, I don't know if I can actually get up there and see them, but they only exist there. There's rare, rare plants I want to see. I want to see this stuff before I'm too old to see it or it doesn't exist anymore. Uh, you only need one person to screw it up. A while back, there was these balancing stones or rocks, and somebody came over and knocked it over, so that'd be funny. Yeah, jerks. But I want to see these natural things. I've driven through the Grand Canyon. I don't remember. It was a child. I want to go back there. I think there's a glass bridge there. I want to get on that and get scared. <laughs> I don't like heights. <laughs> but, yeah, do what you gotta do. You know, but I, I want to go on that. And, you know, I want to jump up and down and test it. <laughs> I'm sure it's safe. I'm not going to jump up and down, though. But I want to go to this glass bridge. I think it's on the uh, Grand Canyon. So i got a lot of plans, a lot of things I want to do. I just want to drive across country. Not like last time I drove back in a couple of days, just straight through. I want to stop. There's a, uh, off the uh, freeway, I wanted to stop at a uh, old atomic war museum that had all the Stuff, I think that was in Arizona or New Mexico. I'm not sure which. I mean, the whole trip was kind of a blur. It was a really bad time for me. It was a really dark time. And a lot of sorrow and, you know. After someone really important you dies, you really shouldn't be alone. I mean, yeah, it's just not a good time because all you can do is think. And there's not a lot of radio out there because, you know, I wasn't smart enough to turn on my cell phone and stream it to the car. You know, whatever. But... Anyway, <clears throat> I hope everybody today is doing good. What are your guys' plans for 2021? Um, yeah, what are your plans? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build a lot of antennas. Uh, I'm going to do some satellite work. Um, some software-defined radio work, the cheap ones. Which like a $20 SDR or software-defined radio uh, dongle. And I got to work on Raspberry Pi. And... To the the Linux application like F Digi, I guess, and stuff. I can get weather faxes, so if something happens, you can see the weather. Um, you can do propagation and stuff. All kinds of good fun stuff. But uh, satellite telemetry, or not telemetry, satellite uh, uh, photos are cool. One of my goals is to get one of the uh, the QSL cards from making contact with one of the astronauts on the International Space Station. I'm hoping they're still doing that, but I don't know. But still there's satellites where you can go across and, and make contacts on 2 meters and 70 centimeters. Or uh, like, you know, 145 and 440 something, you know, frequencies. So a little handheld, like a bow thing, um, which would be QRP. But if you have a, a directional antenna or a Yagi antenna, this can be done. So... If you have a, a technician class license, 
you can go ahead and talk to somebody wherever, wherever that satellite footprint is, you know. And um, there's also Echolink. I think that's still a thing. Windlink for mail over or HF radio. So I, I advise you to go ahead and get your license because you can't just say, oh, I've got a ham radio, let me use it. It doesn't work like that. There's a lot of magic involved for antennas and stuff. Um, a lot of good antennas, bad antennas. I mean, I've, I've talked on tuning up a chain link fence. Not this one because it's vinyl coated, but, you know, back in the day in California, we, we, you would see a corona discharge on these things if you run so much power. Um, legal, legal power, of course, but still. I'm sure we were we were well inside the safe limits, so it wasn't safe. But anyway, safety is all that now. I don't want to do that and cause problems. But I don't know. We'll see how this new radio gets when I get here. I think it's going to be fun because I want to go hiking somewhere and do a parks on the air and eventually maybe a summit on the air uh, where you make contacts up on a mountain or a park or something. So it sounds like fun. So after I get this up, I have to work on a you know a Yagi, and I have to work on a, a portable man pack antenna, probably a dipole, or maybe a sloper, which is an antenna that goes an angle, or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. One of the guys at the Hams Club, his favorite antenna for doing QRP, which is low power, is he uses just regular um um not coax the uh, stuff you plug your modem in. I can't think. Not USB cords. Um, uh, I can't think what they're called now. But it plugs in your modem, your computer. Hold on a second. Cat5 cable. Cat5 cable. So they use that. So I might make an antenna out of that for portable. Because it's got like, I think, five or six wires inside, depending. Um, I haven't up in a while. I forgot a lot. But... <clears throat> When you set that about, you know, three feet off the ground, I think it's what he used between, he used like a dipole and his transmitter with it didn't work. So, you know, it's all about the distance and everything of the length of wire, but make a resonant for wherever you're at. So that'll work. So I'll go ahead and do that and uh, use that new vector analyzer I got. I think it's called the Nano VNA or v uh, Vector Network Analyzer, VNA, can't think. But I'll do a video on it. Um, once I look at the ins and outs of it, it's got a touch screen on it, and it's, it was, I think I paid about 50 bucks, maybe, maybe 60. It's really small, so you need your glasses, and I have a bigger one, but I didn't buy that. And these do different frequencies. I think mine goes up to 1.5 gigahertz, and some go up to way, way higher, but it's like 10 kilohertz to 1.5 gigahertz, which will definitely cover the anything I do, which is, you know, uh, what... 1 to 30, and then like 140 to, you know, maybe 500. You know, I don't, I don't do any microwave stuff, or so just, you know, you know, I, I might try the, you know, 220 bands, uh, but I don't have a radio for that. And I like to do the, uh, the really high frequency ones, but I don't have any radios for that, so those are further projects. But this tool will take care of that, and I'll do a review on it. As I learn, you'll learn. As I watch YouTube videos, I'll, you know, regurgitate their info. <laughs> okay. I'm taking off now. I get to 10 up. Have lunch, get to 10 up. Have a great one, everybody. NCP out. Hope you're doing well. Bye.